We used to have an old mechanic work two years ago said that if you spin the Volkswagen wheel fast enough and he'd spin the transporter front wheel or the Beetle front wheel, he used to say, and I was very young then, that it would be a swastika. There was no endless amount of times that I would spin that wheel fast enough. I'm probably going to ve uh, generate a vehicle speed signal fault now, but... I never did see the swastika. <laughs> anyway, this is called a quick coupling. Goes on the firewall. Okay. When removing it, uh, much like the Bora video I made and the Mercedes-Benz radiator video for the oil coolers, um, the preference is to actually remove the clip because what happens is, is that firstly you can't really see it and it just moves that much. See that? And the hose won't come off or you'll shear off the thing. So, as you can see, if it moves, it's not going to come off. Now, for the first time yesterday, I didn't remove it here because this cooling system, uh, the this coolant um, red powder stuff was seizing the clip up. Like, it took me half an hour to just pull this clip down. Like that. So, you can remove all that if you're going to start snapping things off, but you don't need to, to do the job. Don't forget, in this broken hose here, there is the extension, so you want to either crush it with some pliers with a rag around it and shake it out or pull it out uh, without hopefully damaging the hose. This piece is available on its own. It's called a quick coupling. It's another little bag, another little bit of environmental wastage from Volkswagen and not to mention your money. Uh, all these failures are unacceptable, even at this age. It shouldn't happen. Uh, they've designed this into the car, they're famous for it. So, this can cost you an engine, okay? Uh, so don't drive it. If you're not gonna be able to come up uh, <clears throat> with what I gave this person, like screws, Teflon, and some wooden dowels, if you're not gonna be able to come up with something like that, tow the car, because you're gonna have a very strong leak. Now, uh, they're not always easy to remove, but if you pull the clip off, by just take it off one side. So when you're pulling it out, if you just get one side and the clip will come off. Uh, unless you wanna keep that clip if you're worried or you, you, know, you don't wanna do that, that's fine. But whenever touching this, the clip's gonna jump back on, right? That's the number one thing. Number two, always have your heater on when per bleeding and purging the coolant. Refill it slowly. Um, and I've, I'll add to this video, right? Hear that? Click, 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 click. Can you hear that? So over the years, people have come in worrying about that noise because it does sound like a spark plug shorting out or a lead or a coil. But what that is, is that that's the um, uh, fuel vapor solenoid. As they warm up, it'll go click, 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 click. And, and it's with all the Volkswagens. Like, it'll go faster, it'll go slower, and it'll become even more pronounced. So I got a Skoda Yeti in yesterday, and they booked the car in thinking that you know, no one for years could explain this noise and should they sell the car. And it was the TSI high pressure injection. But what was really throwing them out was on the Skoda Yeti. That piece is just down here somewhere. And it was really pronounced. So they drove in and you can hear the TSI. And that's another talking point, whether or not, you know, the TSI, the, the injectors get noisier with the diesels and stuff like that. But... The injection is quite noisy on a TSI, putting aside possibly that there's uh, issues. So that clicking, and I'll start the car now, has its own duty cycle. So it'll come and go, and it just drives people crazy. So it's not there now. So it hasn't started yet. 
Oh, Sajum. Made in Brazil. Anyway, yeah, so that clicking don't worry about. And when doing this job, I mean, it's, it's common sense, but you know, uh, a bit of silicon might help. I had a lot of trouble uh, with that. And obviously with the clamps, if you guys don't have this tool, you can see, still see it's there from last night. Now I love reusing the same clamps, but this clamp, unless this tool is about to blow up, this clamp fucked my life. Okay, it really did. Like, I couldn't get this hose off. Normally on Volkswagens, once you undo the clamp, the hose comes off because it's plastic. But I really, you know, combined with a few injuries from yesterday and that, it just began to make my life a misery. So it's a good example of, uh, uh, you know, it's a simple, quick coupling. But overall, I still spent 45 minutes just to do, do that job. Uh, you want to close that clamp before you click it on that is a good tip so if you if you use your brains you'll make that clamp accessible for someone one day and not face it the wrong way around like manufacturers do deliberately on ford focuses and that to ruin the mechanics lives so that hose okay i put on i did the clamp up simulating the thing and then i pushed it on and reclipped it but you must put some type of silicon or something here because if you don't push it on all the way it'll blow off later so as i said in the mercedes-benz video the c-class with the transmission cooling lines these have a uh uh they're prone after the job and on bmw to exploding off it can fool you if you only get one side of the clip on and you're pulling on it and it's fine I suggest you pull on it quite firmly, okay? Uh, but even more so, when putting this in, because you can't see, it is a double sort of thing going on here. As it goes through the, the seal, and then there's this flare here. See the, the flared angle? So as it goes in, it'll be two notches that you feel. And then to push the clip on, now you can use mirrors, you can use lights, you can remove all this to reduce the risks of damaging stuff. I'm not saying not to remove it, I just never needed to. But believe it or not, even though that clip looks like it's easy to get off, with that powder and stuff, I couldn't get it off. I started using all different things, but obviously a small, thin screwdriver that will not, not really a pick. Like you need that screwdriver to be able to pull it down. And the quickest and safest way, I always find, to pull it off on an angle like I did there. So pull it down and then give it a little while your hand is in there, flick it left and pull the whole freaking clip out. Otherwise it's gonna keep jumping back in on you and you're gonna just end up really, really getting in trouble possibly just from that. Anyway, hope that helps. Uh, and there we go, there's the clicking. That's normal. Oh, and it just actually starts speeding up then. So, yeah. Anyway, I hope that helps. There's plenty more things that can break off here. If, you, if this was your own car and you're about to go long distance in it, um, I mean, I'm sure I could snap that thing off right now just by looking at it. <laughs> so, you know, you might as well, if you're gonna have one bit break, this one's under a lot of pressure here okay this is where the hot water is not the bottom area bottom hose it's a hot i'll change this as well but knowing volkswagen that bit would come with all the hoses on it okay there's other hoses here as well the o-ring goes on there i mean you might as well in europe it's so much cheaper i'm sure um in australia that's 30 dollars but in Europe and you know if you're gonna be doing the job keeping the car if it's overheated in the past change it all just change them all okay